Oklahoma State University Athletic Department. We are back here again today in the Waco Center, down in the office of Pioneer Media for another edition of the Coaches Show. And our guest on this segment is head men's basketball coach, Justin Caldwell. Coach, great to have you here today. Thanks for having me. Hey, back at it. Another year uh, going for real now. This weekend we've had a few scrimmages. Uh, the first question I want to ask you is, uh, you know, almost a whole new roster and, you know, talk about, you know, the challenges of, you know, becoming a team, with the, which is the reality here in the uh, transfer portal. I asked Coach Stevens the same question a few minutes ago. But how critical of a role was getting these scrimmages in to get that unit playing together? Um, huge. Um, and that's saying it lightly. When you have, you know, 12 to 14 guys uh, that are new guys and haven't played your system before, and, you know, during – for the first semester, we're only going to have one guy that played for us last year uh, that actually got the games, and that's Gus Eddie. Um, so to build that camaraderie and stuff, you got to have scrimmages. you got to be tested a little bit. And without that, you know, it's the unknown, which would still be unknown. Going into this weekend, there's still a lot of unknown um, with, you know, playing 10 to 12 new guys, but we're, we're ready to get to it. Yeah. And, uh, and, and getting to it, you know, again, a couple tough scrimmages. And it gets off right away here up at the tournament up in Fairmont, the season opener. You'll be facing Salem and Edinburgh. Uh, a couple strong teams right off the bat here uh, up there in the Feaster Center. What are you looking for out of this weekend? Um, just seeing our growth together. Um, obviously, when you play Salem, they won 21 games last year. That's who we open up with um, Friday. Uh, that'll be a big test um, because, you know, with our athleticism and the things we've added, they have that as well. Um, They'll play up tempo and let us sort of play our style a little bit, and it's just really just the unknown. Um, it's going to be good to get to play some games to sort of see how our guys, see which guys step up, and, and see how well you know we come together, how quickly we come together. Yeah, the uh, again, I know you, you know what you were up there, you know, as far as leading the country and three pointers made last year. Got some shooters again this year, but you've also really got a lot more guys that can get to the rim. And a lot, you mentioned the athleticism, a lot more, uh, you know, on the defense as far as uh, the defensive pressure. Yeah, with us last year, I think, I think the number, uh, I think we had like maybe three or four guys that were over 6'4". Um, and then this year, you know, we got 10, 11 guys that are over 6'4". So as far as on the defensive side, we knew that was a major hole we had last year. And we couldn't, anytime we needed to get a stop, we couldn't get a stop. Um, we felt a lot of that was obviously athleticism, but also length. You know, six five hides a lot, but six foot can't. And um, you know, that's helped us out from that standpoint. We probably won't shoot it as well this year, uh, but we'll be able to defend a lot better and be able to play at a lot faster pace than what we've been able to play in the past. You know, with depth and, and size. And what about again? Is this a, a portal world? You know, especially in, in the world of college basketball. You know, you get so many new guys bring them together as a unit. Just the, if you could speak to the, the mental, the psychological side of the fall conditioning and all that goes into becoming a team that uh, so many, uh, it's, not, it's, it's not, you know, exclusive to us. There's so many teams that goes through that now in the nation. Well, tell me about that challenge. Well, we'll see this weekend. <laughs> Obviously, you know, it's a lot of sacrifice for kids these days. And that word's, you know, that's, that's, that's the right word to use. A lot of guys that we get either from the portal or from the junior college because we took a lot of transfers, um, you know, they were successful at their last spot. And they're, they're, you know, expected and we expect them to be successful here. But they may not average 20 like they did before. They may not average 24 like they did before. So, you know, they have to sacrifice. And it's hard for them, you know, at times, I'm sure. But, they're, you know, some of them are going to have to accept a lesser role and if you get a bunch of kids that can do that and everybody just plays for the team as opposed to playing for themselves you know with the talent that we have I think we'll, we'll gel but it's gonna it's gonna depend on when we gel that's sort of what I'm anxious to see with this season do we gel opening weekend obviously we're not gonna be at our best opening weekend as we will you know in January February but how quickly can we gel as a team um, and play for each other and if we do that early I think we'll have a lot of success and I know you're, you're uh, you know being from Mullins uh, you know the, the ties and uh, from the coaching tree in your system with uh, the D'Antoni brothers and and so much of that is tied to offense. 
But, you know, it's, it's certainly, you know, the big emphasis with this team has been, you know, being able to get the defensive stops. Well, when you look last year, and I think there was uh, 270, 275 teams as far as that played Division II basketball, maybe 275 or something. And when you look at your defensive field goal percentage and you're 274 out of 275, something's not working. So for us to continue to try to do that and just rely on offense and score in 100 a game, that's fine and, and it's nice and stuff. When you can do that, it, it obviously really leaves your defense a little bit, but what happens the nights when you shoot 30% from three, when you shoot 28% from three, you lose. Um, so we wanted to make sure like, hey, if we have an off shooting night, we got to find ways to get defensive stops. So that's why we put made way more of an emphasis on defense. This is the first year I've been here that our defense is way ahead of our offense, which I don't know if that's good or bad. We'll find out, you know, this coming weekend, but we should be a lot better on the defensive. We better be a lot better on the defensive side. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, we, so I'm going to talk about the league for a minute is we just witnessed in, through, the, through the football season that's closing this Saturday, you know, so many teams were good and so close in talent. There was just so many tight, you know, back and forth games where a play made the difference. The consensus seems there's going to be a lot of the similar situation in men's basketball this winter. Well, even with ours last year, um, the games we lost, I mean, I think six or seven games we lost by one or two possessions. Yeah. You know, they, they're, they're going to be toss-ups. And with their league, our league's very, very competitive. A lot of people say, play the same, you know, the same style, the up-tempo style. So whenever that happens, you get a bunch of close games. And, you know, it's the teams that make plays late and, and figure out ways to get stops or the teams that most of the time win those games. Uh, but our league is always, it's it's a dog fight every night. And your top five, six teams are really, really good. And your bottom five to six teams can beat anybody on any given night. So when you have, you know, the parity like that, it makes it difficult, so you better be ready for close games. Well, I'll tell you what, we're real excited for this weekend. Uh, you know, we'll be able to get uh, everything tuned in. Uh, Lex will have you hooked up there uh, with the links to the Fairmont uh, tournament site. And, uh, you know, uh, Friday night at 8 and Saturday afternoon at 3, Salem, then Edinburgh. So, Coach, good luck up there. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, and thank you all for joining us out there. We'll be talking next week on The Coach's Show.